Okay, welcome back to Howtex. Uh, today's video, we will be unboxing the LG V20. So, this is actually the, I guess, China version of the silver. Uh, and it says Taiwan. And the writing in the back is in Chinese, traditional Chinese. So this is the, I guess, Hong Kong and Taiwan version. So we have an interesting box. Life's good when you play more. And this one is actually kind of a book. Opens up. We have the phone here. We've got some interesting stuff. Life's good when you play more. And it actually opens up into a three section box container. Uh, charger, USB cable. Headphones, phone. Let's get to the good stuff first. That's the best way of getting this out. There we go. Pops open. Here's the phone. This is, uh, as you can see, the silver one with some plastic on it. We have two cameras as well as uh, LEDs. And this is the fingerprint sensor on the back. Here in the front we have the earpiece, front facing camera. On the bottom we have, this is actually a USB-C, the same kind of plug that you can find on a new GoPro uh, Hero 5 and also of course on the new Apple MacBook Pro and MacBook Air. And we have uh, speaker, headphone jack, mic. On the side we have volume up and down. Here in the top we have, I'm guessing that's a microphone. And an access button here on the side. V20 NBO. Okay, so this button is actually to pop the hood, so to speak, and open up the back. Here in the back we have, I guess it's a plastic with some metallic coating. And uh, I'm assuming this is actually the uh, antenna here on the side, you can see it. There's some metallic content uh, contacts for this loop here. So I guess that's the antenna. Um, and then here we have on the back of the phone, obviously this is where the battery goes. Uh, we have the SIM card slot. And then we also have a, oh my fault, this is, the, this is the SIM card slot. This is for the micro SD card slot. And this of course is a nano SIM. Okay, so now let's take a look. Let's put this aside for a moment. Take a look at the rest of the contents. So we have some documentation here. Uh, in this case, because again, this, this is the Taiwan version. Um, it's in traditional Chinese. Uh, and I won't open that and we have the battery so this is uh, 3200 milliamp hours uh, with uh, rechargeable 3.8 volts lithium ion battery the nice thing is this is a removable battery this is one of the few phones nowadays that still has a removable battery unfortunately Samsung as they probably regret have stopped doing this. But the nice thing is you can take it out, you can remove it, you can replace it, you can get more than one battery, so you don't have to rely only on the other one, on the main built-in one. Okay, so here's the battery. Let's try plugging it in. Getting our phone out. Plugs right in here. There we go, let's snap the back back on. And if I should snap back in place, there we go. Okay, make sure that it snaps in. Let's take a look at the rest of the box. So nothing else in here. I guess we got everything we need out of here. Nothing under here either. 
you don't need a SIM removal card uh, tool for this phone. Uh, so here we have the cable. It's actually a flat kind of ribbon cable with the USB-C connector. Um, so hopefully, if you have uh, if you have an, a MacBook or a GoPro, you already have a couple of these cables lying around, which is great. Uh, this one is made in Vietnam, apparently, nice white. And we have also the charger. Uh, so this is definitely the Taiwan version because this is the plug for Taiwan. And basically just a USB charger. It's a nice 1.8 amp uh, output, which means it should actually charge your phone relatively quickly. Okay, and last but not least, what do we have in here? Should be some nice headphones. I can get it out. And I won't unpack it, but basically they're in-ear bud types with a nice uh, braided fabric um, cover. And then also a nice kind of damage resistant plug. So again, kind of old school, uh, just like you can remove the battery, we have a proper earbud piece with a headphone jack. Okay, and last but not least, we have some extra earbud covers, depending on how big your ears are, I guess. Those are the smaller ones. The ones on here are a little bit larger. Three, two, one, go. And here we are with the phone booted up. I had to change the language to English because it defaulted into Chinese. But basically, it's your standard um, Android phone uh, with some LG-specific skin to it. Uh, the cool thing about this is uh, we have, if I go to general, you can actually see about the phone, common software info. We're actually running Android 7.0, which is the Nougat. This is the new version. So uh, that's pretty cool. We can play around with it a little bit more, see how that differs from the previous versions. Uh, so here we have the phone. Screen looks really cool. Another setting that we can adjust is we have a special setting for the second screen, which is this bar up here on the top. And we can basically make uh, selected content that we choose to show up there. And one last thing before we put the phone away, uh, I want to compare the size to, this is an iPhone 7 Plus, um, and the size is actually remarkably similar. The height is almost identical width-wise, although this iPhone has a case on it. Um, it's basically, uh, actually I think the LG might be slightly slimmer. Uh, width is almost the same, if we line them here. Check out our other videos where we will demonstrate the functionality as well as the use cases. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Kimchi. Cheese. LG. Pretty good.